unfolding murder investigation tonight. We're learning more about a Fells Point musician police say was shot and killed Monday night. WJZ is live at the scene where it happened off Eastern Avenue. George Sola speaking exclusively, exclusively rather, with a man who says he knew the victim very well. George. Good evening, Mary. Certainly a somber day here at the Baltimore Tattoo Museum where Jim Forrester worked and was tragically killed. Now, earlier tonight, I spoke with a man who says Jim was like a father to him. That man stopping by the scene here to pay his respects. The murder of beloved Baltimore musician Jim Forrester has left those closest to him nearly at a loss for words. This fan video of him playing bass guitar going up just hours after his death. We're just devastated. Chris Keaton is one of Forrester's longtime friends and is the owner of the Baltimore Tattoo Museum off Eastern Avenue in Fells Point, where he worked as a body piercer for about a year. Keaton saying it's also where he was killed by an unknown gunman just after dusk Monday. He was outside on the phone with his wife and. Uh, she heard him say, get away from me, get away from me, a couple times and heard some noise, commotion, phone drop. Police later confirming he was shot in the chest. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he died. His wife now also a witness in the case. In an online article posted by Theopolis.net, which promotes metal rock bands, his wife is quoted saying, in part, she is left with tragic sadness and a searing rage. He was just very influential to me and my mother. Navar Gilberto tells WJZ Forrester helped raise him as a child. He stopped by the scene to pay his respects and to tell us more about the man he says was in the midst of overcoming numerous health issues. I do hope that in his passing that he can be released from that a little bit, just in trying to see... A, a good side in it. Just, I hope that he is at peace. Police say they are hopeful nearby surveillance cameras help play a role in solving the case. Authorities saying there doesn't appear to be any motive in the murder, at least for now. Such a spirit in that man. So it was a loss to everyone. Now, friends say Forrester does leave behind two stepchildren as well as his wife. Police are asking any witnesses who saw anything to come forward. Latin Fells Point tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Forrester is the 334th person killed in the city this year.